It's time to take control of your artwork with stable diffusion, comfy UI, and automatic 1111. And creating Allura is the best way to accomplish this. Allura involves taking all the imagery and style, refining a model, and enabling you to prompt and create images based on your training. This empowerment will extend to both you and your art. Whether you're aiming to create a style like this or wish to reposition a comic or character, Allura is the correct approach. I'll demonstrate how to create Allura for free and how to instantly apply it with Comfy UI. You can apply this Allura across any of your preferred stable diffusion applications. I can't wait to see what you'll make happen. Follow along to create your Allura, thereby enhancing your creative skills and taking command of your art. Check the description for the link to the GitHub project Autotrain Advance. Extending a shout out to the author for crafting this wonderful project. Ensure you're logged into your Google account. Scroll to the Autotrain section and click the link to open it in Colab. This action opens Google's Colab. You'll require two authorization tokens, fortunately, both available for free. Click this link to open the Hugging Face website. And if you lack a token, proceed to create one. If you're without a Hugging Face account, Create one for free and continue with this step. Upon creating your new token, ensure its type is set to right. Simply copy this token and return here to paste it. Now, repeat the process with Gronk. Click the link, follow the subsequent link, copy your token and paste it right here. The remainder of the video will proceed as smoothly as this. In the upper right-hand corner, click this triangle and connect to a hosted runtime. Select T4. It's now connected. Click this play button to execute this block of code. As it processes the block of code, which should take a minute or two, click the show code link to witness the setup unfolding. Don't fret over any errors or warnings. As long as you see these links upon completion, you're ready to proceed. The next step is to click right here and visit the site where all the training setup occurs. We've simplified this with a series of steps and clicks so you can concentrate on the human aspect, your artwork, and gaining control through Laura training. From the task dropdown, select Dream Booth Laura. This will load the correct training parameters and also populate the base model dropdown. You can opt for Stable Diffusion 1.5. If seeking high quality, simply leave it at Stable Excel. You're almost there. We have a couple more steps before training begins. What will be the prompt to leverage your LoRa training? If you're inventing a new style, you would input the trigger word for that style. Here I'm illustrating with a character to showcase its utility for graphic novel artists and CG artists desiring to explore their artwork's poses and stylizations swiftly without opening a 3D program and rendering or crafting new hand sketches. To determine the prompt for your character, visit starbyface.com. Here's a tip about Stable Diffusion. If you select someone Stable Diffusion recognizes, it will harness all those resources and information to bolster your Laura, even for characters. Now let me introduce the character we'll be working with. Who does this align with? Select your artwork, drop it in here, and await the potential matches. Since this is your artwork, you'll need to choose whom you deem appropriate. I'll select this person and use their name as my prompt. I'm appending the word character to it. I'll leave the rest of the settings at their default values, including the resolution. It's time to review the training data. You don't need to add numerous photos or images to your training. That's the beauty of leveraging Stable Diffusion to assist in further creating your art. Here are 10 images in various poses. A significant amount isn't required here. Just some variety to aid Stable Diffusion in envisioning your character. This is all we need for Stable Diffusion to prompt and assist in posing your character. Select your training images from the dropdown. These are the images I've just shown you. Select all of them. Training might take an hour or two, or possibly more, depending on the number of images and how you've adjusted the preferences. Ensure your laptop isn't set to sleep. Since it's running in the browser on Google's Colab, the training won't disrupt anything else you're doing on your laptop. Patience is key. And remember not to close the browser window, or you'll have to start from scratch. Click, yes, I'm sure, and you're finished with this tab. Return to the Google Colab tab to monitor the training process. I'll resume this video after the training is complete to show you how to download your LoRa and begin using it within Comfy UI to pose your character in new ways. The training lasted about an hour. Click the folder icon to download your LoRa. Within the checkpoint folder, you'll also find a saved copy of your LoRa. Each checkpoint was set to occur every 500 steps in the preferences. A checkpoint serves as an evaluation point for a LoRa or as a jumping off point to continue training from. Rename your custom LoRa model to a name that aligns with your project's theme and place it in the dedicated LoRa folder within your models folder. I crafted a custom LoRa for a specific test character. 
To assess its effectiveness, let's do a simple test run. Begin by loading the standard workflow template. Pick from the Load Checkpoint node, a model that matched your training. I used an SDXL model for this LoRa's training. Add a Load LoRa node. If you didn't restart your comfy UI, since adding your LoRa to its folder, click the Refresh button to update the list. Then choose your newly created LoRa model. Relink the nodes in the default workflow to wire in your LoRa. Link the output of the SDXL model to your LoRa and continue to connect its outputs to the clip and sampler nodes. For the positive prompt, use the trigger words for the LoRa along with a detailed description of the character and specify an action. Configure the steps to 30 and set the classifier free guidance to 8. Pick a fixed setting over a random one to enable parameter tweaking after each rendering. Set the latent size to 1024 by 1024, which matches the SDXL model and your LoRa. Click the Q prompt to follow the flow and see the end result. The initial results are pretty good. Additional tweaks and workflows can correct specific aspects of the image, such as the hands. Experimenting with various prompts can yield different actions, showcasing the versatility of your LoRa beyond the initial training dataset. For finer adjustments, particularly with facial features, a reactor node, or other face transfer techniques can help. For precise pose control, I'll utilize OpenPose. It uses a reference image to control the final image. This workflow is provided in the link in the description so you can focus on the overall concept first. Feel free to pause and scrub the video and match the wiring of the nodes. The posing process mirrors what you did with the default setup with the SDXL model connected to your LoRa. The prompt specifies a standing position, setting the character in a neutral stance for more adaptable repositioning through Comfy UI. Load the reference pose and feed it into the pose estimation linked with open pose. To ensure the final image doesn't get cropped, adjust the latent size to match the reference pose dimensions using the get image size node. Right-click to convert the width and height fields of the latent to input nodes. By converting the width and height fields of the latent to input nodes, they can be directly connected to the dimensions of the original reference pose image. Incorporate an Anything Anywhere node into your workflow to simplify the user interface by reducing wiring complexity. Experiment with different seeds or prompts to tailor the results to your preference. Continue refining the parameters and layer techniques introduced in my other tutorials, such as clothing and face swapping, to achieve optimal visual quality. If your project involves graphic novel creation, this method serves as an excellent foundation for quick scene conceptualization, or as sketches that you then can manually build on top of. Please share what you create with your own Laura creations.